Coming up on Around Kern County, April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. What the Department of Human Services is doing to raise awareness and how you can get involved. And the Kern County Library is reopening more of its branches. The latest locations you can visit when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Kern County supervisors proclaimed April as Child Abuse Prevention Month during this week's board meeting. This annual initiative, led by the Department of Human Services, works to educate the community about the importance of preventing child abuse. This campaign acts as a reminder to residents about how we can come together to create change and stop child abuse from happening by knowing the signs. Which brings me back to the amazing partners that joined us today and the amazing social workers we have working at DHS who represent a collaboration of individuals and organizations fully committed to improving the lives and children and strengthening families in our community. It's absolutely a team effort and requires multiple disciplines, offering multiple programs and an array of services. DHS is partnering with the Kern County Sheriff's Office, Kern County Fire Department, Kern County Network for Children, First Five Kern, CASA, and other committed advocates and agencies to improve the well-being of Kern County children. To learn more about the events happening this month and how you can get involved or learn more about prevention, please visit kcdhs.org. And if you suspect child abuse, please call 661-631-6011 to report it. There's a new program available for local pet owners at Kern County Animal Services. They've recently partnered with Home to Home, an interactive platform created to help families with the task of transitioning their pet from one home to another. This program helps keep animals out of our shelter by placing pets who are no longer able to be cared for in their current home into another loving one. Home to Home helps shelters connect and provide positive solutions for their communities by saving resources for pets who truly need them and keeping as many animals as possible out of the shelter and placed directly into loving homes. We always want to save every animal that comes into the shelter, but another part of what we do is trying to prevent them from coming into the shelter in the first place. And the more resources we can provide a pet owner in the community, uh, the better likelihood they're going to be able to retain their pet and not end up at the shelter. So the Home to Home app uh, connects you with people that are looking for a pet and people that are uh, needing to surrender their pet all across the state. You can create a profile on Home to Home via Kern County Animal Services website where you'll be connected to the platform's database of users. You can select to rehome your pet, find a temporary foster home for them, adopt a pet, or become a foster pet parent. To sign up, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. We're closing out National Library Week with some good news. This week, the Lamont and Wilson Kern County Libraries reopened. You can visit the Lamont branch Thursdays and Fridays from 11 in the morning until 6 in the evening. And the Wilson branch Tuesdays through Thursdays during those same hours. Also this week, the Arvin branch library hours of operations have changed. You can now visit this library Mondays through Wednesdays from 11 in the morning until 6 in the evening. If you'd like to access the library's resources remotely, you can visit their digital collection online at currentcountylibrary.org slash elibrary. And we're ending today with a new segment. We're spotlighting an outstanding member of our workforce. You're taking a look at our Southwest branch librarian, Rafael Moreno, during his toddler story time, which he puts on every Tuesday. When we arrived this week, we were shocked at how right, packed the room doing? was with kids and their parents. Raphael starts each session with dancing to help the kids get out their wiggles. Then he reads two books, followed by more dancing and a puppet show in English and Spanish. 
all of the kids' eagerly awaited toys to also be brought out at the very end of the event. You can see the true joy on Raphael's face as he greets his regulars and welcomes new friends. Parents and toddlers are filing in as if they're attending a rock concert. Raphael has been with the Kern County Library for more than 17 years and says he decided to pursue this career because all he wants to do is serve our community. I started off as extra help and then I decided, you know what, I want to make this a career and so I got my MLIS to be a librarian. I really enjoy helping good people job. every time someone comes up and they need help on assistance on anything Very and then just hearing that, oh, thank you, that's what I was hoping to find. I really enjoy that. And then also the programs with the children. Interacting with the children is a lot of fun. We're here to serve you, you know, so that's what we want to do. Uh, take advantage of the library. We're here for you to help you out in whatever services that we provide to get you to the next step. Raphael, you are the epitome of a public servant and we are so lucky to have you as an outstanding member of our workforce. If you would like to get involved with Storytime at the library, you can visit their website at kerncountylibrary.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here in a few weeks.